Hello everyone. Welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to see groupoid. To know groupoid, we should know binary operation. We know that binary operation is a function from set G cross G to set G, right? Here we have write down this O for this operation. And we know that elements of this G cross G, these are the order pair. Where this A and B element belongs to set G. Let's understand this is on set of natural number. We know that addition is a binary operation. When we take any two element of set of natural number and when we operate addition on that natural number, we get another natural number. Right? So we have to say that addition is a binary operation. That means when we have here any two element, if we take this is 3, 4 and when we operate under this operation addition, we get this 3 plus 4 is equals to 7 and that belongs to set of natural number. Another element if we take this is 5 and 6 and when we operate addition, we get 5 plus 6. This is again natural number, right? That means for all AB belongs to N, we have this A plus B belongs to N. So from this is, we have to say that this set N with this operation addition is a groupoid. In the same manner, if we take operation multiplication, if we take any two element, if we have this is 3 and 2, if we multiply 3, 2, we get 6. This is again a natural number, right? If we have this is 5 multiplied by 4, we get 20. 20 be belongs to n. That means for all ab belongs to n, we have this a multiplied by b belongs to n. So here we have to say that this algebraic structure n with multiplication is a groupoid. So now we can write down definition of groupoid here. So here we have write down definition of groupoid. A set together with only one binary operation is groupoid. Yes, we can take here another example set of real number. We know that on set of real number we have this operation addition, this subtraction, then multiplication, division. All these operations are binary operations, right? Now we have to take only one operation to define groupoid. So here we have this is R plus is groupoid, then R subtraction is groupoid, then R this multiplication is groupoid, same here R with this division is groupoid, right? That means when we add any two real number, we get another real number. Same here when we take subtraction of any two real number, we get another real number. Same with this multiplication and division operation, right? So in another words, so we have to say that set R is closed with respective addition operation. Yes, if we take any two elements of set R under this operation addition, if we have this 1 by 2 and if we have this 4 and if we operate addition operation, we get this 1 by 2 plus 4. This is again real number. Yes, this is real number set R. So we have to say that set R is closed with respective addition operation. If we have this is 3 and this minus 5. If we operate addition operation, we get this is, we get here minus 2 and that's again real number, right? That belongs to set of real number. That means we have to say that here 
set R is closed with respective addition operation. So, for groupoid we can define in another words. Yes, here we have write down if set G is closed with respective binary operation star, then we have to say that this algebraic structure set G with this binary operation star is groupoid. Yes, we can take this example here. If we have set of integer, then set of integer with this operation addition, then set of integer with operation this subtraction is a groupoid, right? Yes, next here we can check that set n with this subtraction operation is not a groupoid. Yes, when we take any two natural number and when we operate subtraction, we will not get always a natural number. So, we have to say that set n with this subtraction is not groupoid. We, we can take another example here. If we have set of odd integer, we have this is set of odd integer. We know that elements are this is here plus minus 1 plus minus 3 plus minus 5 up to to n. If we operate any two elements, if we have here this minus 1 minus 3, if we operate under this operation addition, we get here minus 1 minus 3. We have to add here. So, we get here this minus 4 and that does not belongs to set of this odd integer, right? So, we have to say that z set of odd integer with this operation addition is not a groupoid. Yes, we can take another two elements again if we have this minus 1 and if we have plus 3 under this operation. This is minus 1 plus 3 we get here this 2 and this 2 does not belongs to this set of odd integer. So, we have to say that set of odd integer is not a groupoid. So, in this way we have defined here groupoid. Set G is called groupoid when the set G is closed with binary operation. So, in this way we have seen groupoid with examples. So, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.